Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to share with you the world of groups. Do you know about groups? AutoCAD gurus know about groups and I'm going to share those with you. So a group is, no surprise, a group of objects. <laughs> I'm going to make a group of objects out of my table and chairs. They're a little bit like a block, but at any given time you can decide that they're not a group. Now you're a group, now you're not. Now you're a group, now you're not. <laughs> really easy to work with. You name them like you do a block. There's a lot of similarities, but groups are, are very easy, very low stress. So let's take a look. So I'm going to go into the group command, and this is going to take me into a dialog box. You can see it's called the object grouping dialog box. I'm going to name it. I'm going to name this, how about table set? And you can give it a description if you want. You don't need to. I usually don't, but why not? Table and four chairs. How about that? Completely up to you. I'm usually too lazy. <laughs> Create a group. I'm going to say new and select the objects. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to window my objects there. I missed a chair. So all of those guys are going to become part of my group. It says I have one group called table set and I'm going to go ahead and say okay. And there it is. All right, now watch this. I'm going to go in the copy command. I'm going to grab my, look at, it's treated as one object. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to copy my table and chairs around. All right, just kind of put them someplace. That looks pretty good. All right, now let's say maybe I want to ungroup them. How do I ungroup them? It's super easy. Shift Control A. I think that's the easiest way to do it. See, it says group off. Shift Control A comes back on. <laughs> Shift Control A. Let's turn it off and let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to go into the move command. I'm going to go ahead and select like that chair. You notice how it kind of highlighted the whole group, but it really just selected the one chair. And now I can go ahead and just, you know, move them independently. I don't have to explode them or anything like that. All right, pretty simple. So I'm going to go back into that group command. Shift Control A, right? That's how you get turn it on and off the selectable, you know, whether you can select them as a group or not. And just to show you a couple of other things, so let's say later on down the road I want to, I don't know, I want to rename it or I want to add some more objects to that group or I want to remove an object from the group, it's not a problem. I can also explode the group. Now if I explode the group, the group goes away. Bye bye group. It's not a group anymore. You'll see it's not in the list anymore. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and say, say I want OK. I'm going to make sure that my groups is on. You'll see it says groups are on. But if I go into the erase command, you'll see these are all treated as individual objects. That guy is no longer a group. Make sense? Make sense? All right. I'm going to show you something now because I think you need to know this. Let me go back into the group command. I want you to see this little option that says include unnamed. Oh my goodness, what are those? I didn't make those, right? <laughs> actually, I did make them. These guys are actually these extra, the ones that I made copies of. So just so you know, check this out. You'll see if I come here and select this. You'll see it's still being treated as a group, even though I exploded the first one. So once you make copies of them, they're all their own little party. It's something you should keep in mind, all right? So I'd have to go in and explode all of those if I wanted that to be the case. But you know, most of the time you don't explode them. You just turn groups off when you need to. It's really not an issue. But I didn't want to hide that from you. I want you to see what's going on behind the scenes. All right, that's 2011 and before groups have been in AutoCAD for about 1 million years, okay? <laughs> for a very, very long time. Let's take a look at AutoCAD 2012 because in AutoCAD 2012, you'll see that groups actually, they, they got into the high rent district, man. They're on the home tab on the ribbon. Groups were moved here, which I think is kind of great I, because most of us know the group command behind the scenes. Uh, this is so much easier. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a group. We're going to do it using the ribbon, the, the panel on the ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and select the objects that I want to include. Bad shot today, Lynn. There we go. There they are. And now that is my group. Now, if I go into the copy command, and I select it, I can make copies, right? Similar idea, same concept, no big surprise. Now, if I want to turn groups off, you can certainly still do shift control A. Or, can you see up here, my groups are on. It's hard for you to see that. That button is blue, the groups are on. I can also select it to turn grouping off, and now they're individual objects, just so you know. Same concept, all right? You can use it from the button. The button's pretty fast. If it's blue, that means groups are on. If it's not highlighted at all, then groups are off. All right, so what else can I do up here? Well, I can, let's see, I can ungroup. Hmm, it basically does the same thing as that explode. So I can go ahead and do that and select. And so now if I go into the erase command, once again, you'll see individual objects, right? Okay, and I want to also show you this. Let's go drop this list down, take a look at the group manager, and you'll see at the command line it says classic group. Okay, that's the old group command. And you can go about it this way too, whichever you prefer. So same dialog box that they had before. You don't really need to use this though. I don't use it. I just go with the basic, the basic elements that are on the panel there. All right, so now you know about groups. I want you to try them. Start to use them. They might save you some time. Might give you a little bit extra time to do some of the things that you prefer to do. I don't know, like go on vacation. 
uh, play video games? I don't know, Twitter, tweet, <laughs> whatever that is. Yeah, like you have spare time at work, right? Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I want you to try groups, and I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. Have a great rest of the week.